Good evening. Um, tonight we're going to talk about the movement of pigs from being wild animals into being the most sophisticated farm animal that exists right now. Um, in 1989, they were planning on flooding Halan Sima, uh, which is a valley in Turkey. Um, so they wanted to go ahead and flood the Batman River. Um, the archaeologists Richard Redding and Mark Nesbitt were the ones that were called in to look at this valley and see if there's any significant findings. What they found was that close to the villages that were in there, next to the buildings inside the trash heaps, there was remains of both male and female pigs. What this showed is that they, instead of going out and hunting, they were actually raising the pigs there. When they do, would go out and hunt, they'd actually just bring back the meat and leave all the stuff that nobody cares about. Um, what this went to prove was that pigs were domesticated approximately 2,000 years before goats and sheep, which were originally thought to be the first domesticated farm animal. Um, they were brought in due to they eat anything. They grow fast, they have high litter sizes, quality protein at the time. Um, but they ended up starting to do crops. Pigs destroy crops, they dig up the ground, so pigs went to the wayside until explorers decided to come to the Americas. At that time, they brought pigs with them because they ate the trash or on the ships. Um, Fernando de Soto went down the coast of the US and actually placed on islands at the ends of, at the, the bases of waterways, pigs and put their individual colonies. So as they were coming back for future explorations, he could go ahead and harvest. Uh, Christopher Columbus decided to go down to Haiti and Dominican Republic and basically did the same thing. Eventually they ended up inside a city. They were used for the trash cleanup. They put, let them run the streets, everybody threw their trash out in the streets, pigs came through, they ate it. The problem was, the pigs would also destroy buildings. They rub, they rip up the walkways, they destroy everything. So they were banished to the farms and branded as dirty animals because of their ability to eat trash and convert it into protein. So the, once they got kicked off the farms, they originally they were more of a free range, but still inside of a, a fenced in area. They were given a little supplemental feed and allowed to do their thing until it was slaughter time. Um, in the mid 80s, pork got really bad rap. Everybody was looking at the health quality of food at this point. On the left you have what the older pork looked like. And this would be a normal pork loin. Super fatty, not much meat inside of it. Very high flavor. On the right you have a current pork loin. You see there's absolutely no fat really inside of it except for the outer lining and is actually considered to be as lean, leaner than boneless, skinless chicken breasts at this current point in time. And this was all done through selective breeding to bring it up into higher health standards. Now, once they moved on, once they had that figured out, they started doing these factory farms. Kicked them out of the fields, brought them inside, Inside of a normal pig farm, they can fit approximately 5,000 pigs inside of one building. The slats in the floor allow for defecation and urination to go through. They have automatic feeders set up. Um, everything is, is temperature controlled. It is actually considered at this time that a modern pig would not be able to survive inside of a field due to the lack of fat that's inside of the meat and how they've been spoiled. So we have, originally they started off as a free range item. They brought, came in, they ate trash, and now they are inside of scientifically designed barns where everything is fed to them. And they have completely de decreased the fat content down to nothing. Thank you.